Hello, everyone. My name is Claire Hawthorne, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about uh, product operations and how we are an unexpected DevOps champion. Um, my pronouns are she, her, and we'll get into it right now. So let me first tell you a little bit about Oscar. Oscar is a health insurance company founded on the idea that healthcare in the US is pretty broken. We pay more for worse outcomes than many other rich countries. So we aim to make a healthier life accessible and affordable for all, and we focused on refactoring the individual insurance landscape through the federal and state ACA exchanges, which you might know as Obamacare. Our member-centric approach has helped us attract 1.6 million members with an industry-leading NPS of 66. Most insurers hover right around zero. And in 2023, we generated almost $6 billion in revenue. So we see our technology as a key differentiator. Our tech team is about 500 people, and it's organized into about 45 scrum teams or pods. I joined Oscar in 2021 to build our product ops function. And about a year ago, my remit expanded to include engineering operations, which we now jointly call tech ops. We create leverage across the entire tech organization by applying a DevOps mindset. So why did Oscar build out product operations in the first place? Well, you see, Oscar has always been hyper-focused on being responsive to our members and the overall market. We grow quickly, adapting, experimenting, customizing, yeah, accumulating lots of tech debt. Uh, we also had operational debt. So when I joined, our processes were designed for speed. It was a good thing, but we had st started struggling to keep up with our increased tech surface area and our growing membership. We also kept setting very ambitious goals, tackling big tech-wide initiatives, but pods only had product managers, engineers, and designers. So we ended up placing a big coordination tax on our builders. And leadership had also encouraged pods to create locally optimized processes. It was great until leadership needed visibility into what was happening on the ground. We had no easy way to aggregate what everyone was working on. So how did we start tackling these problems? In my first 60 days, I surveyed the landscape. It became obvious to me that while my new product operations team had product in its name, we were really there to help the pods be more productive. From the get-go, we established that we weren't there to be junior PMs. My vision, even in the product ops days, was that we were always there to unlock Oscar's ability to ship more, better, and faster. That sounds great on paper, right? So a quick audience participation moment. How many of you are familiar with the Tuckman stages of group development? OK, a few people there. Um, it was actually mentioned earlier in the Vanguard talk by Michael. But the Tuckman theory is that all groups go through these four stages, forming, storming, norming, and performing. As I mentioned, I joined in the spring of 2021. And boy, did we have a roller coaster ahead. When I first joined, product apps included two or three product specialists. They floated around the org, often working as junior product managers. I staffed up to a team of six people, and we had to find our product market fit of our function. It was a very tough first summer. We experimented with different operating models until we landed on what we call our embedded model, which we scaled in 2022, uh, more than doubling the team size. We continue to have success with product operations embedding. Most folks on the team are individual contributors that are aligned to two or three pods. Being embedded allows the team to become subject matter experts. They serve as that first line of defense for pods and are experts on the pods' ongoing processes. Another thing happened in the summer of 2021. It was the first time that I read the Phoenix Project and the Unicorn Project. I had an aha moment. What I was trying to do with product ops at Oscar is what Bill and Maxine were trying to do at Parts Unlimited. OK, so let's get down to the brass tacks. So here's a view of our overall tech ops team. The product operations function is highlighted in blue. Our embedded individual contributors focus on the pod processes in an effort to enable pods to do their best work. In addition, we have a team focused on tech-wide processes and tools. So this, chart, this slide is a little bit of an eye chart, but I included it so you can reference it later. I'll first dive into the pod enablement team which is the goal there is to make pods more efficient and effective. 
And I think, in theory, this is highlighted in blue, but it's a little washed out on the slide. So you can also see that this is 